Hello everyone, this is Frankie, Marvel's technical support. Today I will bring you a tutorial on OMC. Before that, please allow me to briefly introduce the OMC. It is an outdoor operation and maintenance system that can remotely monitor the status of the device and then control it remotely. We have been running this system for around six years, managing more than 50,000 devices around the world and providing excellent outdoor advertising machine solutions to many large European and American customers. Okay, now let's get started. So firstly, we need to log into the OMC page. The website is omc.marveltechgroup. Com. Okay, now we log in. Here is the page that you will see. You can see we have the Marvel's name in the website and we have Marvel's logo here. For this tool, we all can change it like we have a neutral website without Marvel's name. And also, we, if the customer need, we will also customize the logo uh, for their company. Before we send the device to each customer, we will have a account and a password sending to the customer. And then he or she can use this account and a password to log into the page, okay? So like my account is admin and the password is already written, so let's just log in. Okay, so this is the first page that you will see once you log in. So let me explain you to this page, okay? So firstly, you will see there are so many devices some are green color and some are red color so let me explain first about the red color or the green color okay green color means all the sensors are in right condition they are in a normal state so it is green and then the red color means some of the sensors are out of the boundary value so it shows the red here is all the devices, okay? As you can see for each line, let's just to see this device, okay? Uh, you will have the equipment ID and equipment address setting, and also you will have the version, temperature, humidity, screen, fan speed, update time, okay? You will have all this information collected here. Okay, so let's go for randomly for one to check for more details, okay? So once you click here, click it here, and then it will enter in the details of the device, okay? As you can see, we now we are going to see the temperature and the fan and the screen humidity. Once the screen is off, and then it will show off here. So on is the normal state, so you will see this sensor is like in a green state. There is also a humidity sensor here inside of the device. And then you can see now the humidity is in a normal state. And the value is about 68. Please note, this 68 is just a monitoring value. It's not the real value of the current air. We also have a flooding sensor, which is just installed in the downside of the device. And once the water comes in, and then the flood sensor will detect it. It can detect whether the water is coming or not. And also we have a smoke sensors. For the smoke sensors, which is usually used to detect if there is any power board or some board which is like in a burn condition, once it burns, it will create smokes, so it can detect it. And we also have collision and tilt sensor. Once the device detects any collision or any tilt of the device, it will turn red here. And then you will get the email from the OMC, okay? Also, we have a door 1, door 2 sensors, which is the door sensors. For some of the devices have two doors, then it will have two door sensors. So also we have the filter. The filter is just to prevent the dust from the air. Once the air coming, it will block the dust. And also we have fan and screen switch. Also we have the light sensors here. So here is all the current status of the device. And then also, we can check the historical data for latest three months. Like you can see, uh, we can select any date here. Like this is the 
2023 and in the December, okay? Like you can see, we have all these devices collected. Like see the hour, yeah. The temperature, fan, and humidity, flooding, smoke, filter, all information here. You can check the all day data. It collected the data every time. As for the alarm monitoring, alarm monitoring means once the device is like in an alarm condition. In an alarm condition means some of the sensor is in a boundary value or maybe it's already out of the boundary value, then it will have alarm, okay? As you can see here, for this device, 6896, we have like information and alarm source is from the temperature and the alarm description is the temperature reaches about 55. For the temperature boundary value, we can set it whatever we like. This, which is normally setting in 55. For this part, I will tell you later. In the monitor function, you will have a immediate status check of the device. And also you can have the historical data of latest three months. You can check the alarm monitoring directly. We also have the device details collected in this OMC. For the device details, you can check the essentials information and the system information, settings information, and the sensors information. At here, I don't want to go deep here because it is just some information about the system. Yeah, so there is nothing that you need to do with this part. Okay, so let's go to the third function, which is the control panel. We have so many functions below, as you can see. Like the first one is monitoring photos, the screen sensors. Let's just explain one by one. For the monitoring photos is that for some of our outdoor devices, you can choose to have a monitoring camera installed in the device. The monitoring camera is usually installed in the top side of the device and it can take picture of the surrounding place. So if you have installed the monitoring photos, then you can click here, then you can have a picture from the device. For this device, we don't install the monitoring camera, so maybe we cannot get the monitoring photos. For the screen sensors, okay, you can see the camera is not set. So it means that this device doesn't have the screen sensors or the monitoring photos. But if you have installed it, but you will get the photos from the back end. Okay, let's check the screenshot. Screenshot can capture what is showing all right now on the screen okay so you will get the picture okay so as you can see this is a page which is showing in this device currently okay for the apk upgrade and the self diagnose these two are normally not used by the customer so you don't have to worry about this or you don't have to check about it Next the functions, we have the screen turn on or turn off, or we have the fans turn on or turn off, or the heater turn on to turn off. For these six, we don't recommend the customers to do this. This needs to be done under our instruction, please note. This one restart the APP, which means restart the OMC terminal, which is installed in the system, in the motherboard. Restarting MCU. MCU is a control unit in the device. It will collect all the sensor data. For this part, you also don't need to click it here or you don't need to check it here, okay? This needs to be done under our instruction. Please note. Also, we have the restart terminal. Restart terminal is like restart the motherboard, okay? To another function is the Settings. For the settings here, there are so many settings here as you can see, but I will just uh, go deep about several settings which are used the most by the customer, okay? The first one is about the temperature boundary settings. Temperature boundary settings helped lots of customers solve their problems. Okay, let's see more details about it. For the temperature boundary settings, as you can see, we have like ultra low. Ultra low means once the device entering this temperature, it will turn off the screen and turn on the 
heater. And also, what we have a low temperature settings. Once the device in this con temperature condition, it will turn off the fans and turn on the heater. And the normal settings is about the 30 fans will running at a low speed. We also have a high boundary setting, which is about 55. Once the 50, once the device reached about 55, it will have a linear increase of the fan speed. Once the device entering 73, or maybe the other values that you set here, it will turn off the screen and maximum the fan speed. For all the temperature here, we all can set. Like for some extremely cold place, minus 15. And in some extremely hot place, like we can set this value to 80 or maybe 675. For the extremely hot place, the device will maybe easily to get to the 73 just to set. So it will have most of time the screen is like turn off. So you need to level up of this value. In the cold place, it is the same principle. Yeah. Okay, so this is about this part. And we also can have a volume settings, like you can set. And then you can save. So you can have a loud voice of the device remotely. We also have a timing volume. For some of the device installed around the apartment, maybe the customer want the device to be more quiet in the night time. So you can set the time here. Yeah, like you can set uh, in the in the 9 p.m. and then the volume value and then add and then it will set. Okay. And also we have a very interesting function about the brightness settings. We can set the brightness remotely. For this function, we will show you in another video. Okay, so let's go to another function. We also have a alarm mail settings. For the alarm mail settings, which means that once the device is like in a alarm condition, it can send you the email, okay? Like you can turn on this function or turn off this function. Yeah, it's up to you. And also you can select it uh, only the temperature sensors or the all the sensors. If you selected the temperature sensors, which means only when the temperature goes out of the boundary, it will send you the alarm email. If you selected all sensors, it means one of the sensors is out of the boundary value, then it will send you the email. And now you, you can select it, uh, which email address to send to. Also, we have a time rebooting, okay? Time rebooting settings. So for here, you can set the reboot time of the device. Normally speaking, we don't recommend the device to run 7, 24 hours. You can set a time to restart the device every day. Please note, all the operations needs, needs to be done when the device is online when the device is accessed to the internet, then it will be um, valued. For the other one, we also can have the timing switch. Like you can set the switch time here. You want the device to power on on the 5 a.m. and then power off on the, on the 9 p.m. And then you can save or you can select it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or whatever you like, okay? So we also have a lock screen function for some of the touch outdoor devices. We can enable this function. Once you enable it, once there is any passerby comes to the screen, they will only access to the device once they entering the password. So they can do nothing without the lock screen password for this one. So we also have the equipment log and the Pyramid settings for this one is not it's not done by the customer side. You can just have a look of it Yeah That's all for this part the functions that I mentioned is normally used by the customer side For the function that I don't mention which means that function needs to be operated under our instruction Please note this here is all for this part
and uh, let's have a look of other functions uh, let's, like you can see here for example if you have like 100 devices then you can check the alarm monitoring here like you can see directly which of the devices like is in a alarm condition you will know the equipment and the alarm source and the alarm time also okay so for the equipment settings like you can see we can add it we can change the name and change the type change the equipment or change the address so you can set it here set the things that you want here so we also have a operation log operation log means once there is maybe it's not you maybe it's someone else who controlled the device or who just made some operation in the omc to the device that you will see like you can see for this device just operate yeah for this one temperature equipment it is the same as the page that we saw just now yeah okay this is the all the information about this tutorial if you have anything interested or if you want to have any new functions please leave comments just let us know thank you thank you for watching